guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be all about my January favorites. So I may have not purchased some of these in January, but it might have been like late December and I used them all through January and I decided that I really like the palette, the foundation, the concealer, or whatever. So um, if you want to see kind of what my favorites are, then stay tuned. So my first favorite is actually a drugstore. So I really enjoy the Maybelline Baby Skin. So this is my first favorite, ignore my nails, but it is the Maybelline Baby Skin um, Instant Pore Eraser. Um, I like how it goes on. It becomes tacky really fast, so that is a plus for me. So that is actually what I use on a daily basis of what I use for primer before or I mean after my um, moisturizer. So moving on, um, I found two foundations that I really like. Um, so I use the Bare Minerals um, Bare Pro and I think I'm in the color Cool Beige. Um, so I use this when I'm not like putting fake tanner on but um, it matches my skin, it's really light, it feels good on my skin, it feels like a moisturizer as well. Um, which is why I like this foundation. And then my other is the Clinique uh, Beyond Perfecting Foundation. And I don't think I've ever figured out what shade I am, to be honest. I think I'm cork. I think that might be the color. Not entirely sure, but um, I like this because it is full coverage. Another thing that I really like about it is the applicator. So it's like that thick applicator, kind of like... Um, a concealer that I'm about to show you but I, it's so easy to put on I don't have to like get my hands dirty so the bare pro foundation is a pump so I either have to squirt it on like the back of my hand and then use my brush and put it into my face or I'll put it on my and just like tab it all over so I like the Clinique um, beyond perfecting foundation because of that applicator um, so I will mix them together if I'm a little bit darker than, you know, what my natural shade is during the winter. And then when I am um, putting fake tanner on, then I will definitely just use the Clinique one. So what I found, um, I used to only put my foundation on with a beauty sponge. But now that I've discovered this, so this is the Eco Tools Retractable Face Brush. And I am starting to like putting my foundation on with a brush again. Yep, whoever knew that, that I would have changed my mind once again. So this is the Eco Tools Retractable Face Brush. Um, it's nice, it's compacted, which I like. So if I'm actually going somewhere or I'm going away for the weekend, this is nice and little. So another face brush that, um, oh, another face brush. So like you can just like see like this is a normal face brush size and it is half the size, which is nice when you go on vacation or you go away for the weekend or, you know, whatever. It's easy to throw into your makeup bag and then you're good for the weekend. All right, we all know that I love this concealer, so it's not even a surprise, really, that this is on this video, but this is the Tarte Shape Tape. Let's see if I can get this to focus on it, maybe. Yep, so here is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It is honestly my favorite concealer. Um, it has full coverage. Um, it has a ton of shades, so it's not like super white or like super dark. Um, I also like the applicator, it's nice and thick. So here is the applicator um, closer up. I really like it, it's really big and thick. Um, yeah, so that is honestly my favorite concealer and it will probably stay my favorite concealer for a very long time. So the setting powder that I decided to be in my favorites video is the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. Um, I really do like it. It's like a yellowish tone, so it's not like super white. So especially like the days that I'm just doing like a natural look, but I want to set my concealer, then this is what I go to. Um, it's nothing like super special on the inside, but it's nice that it has like a little container like top so So it doesn't have to <laughs> all that powder just went everywhere But so it's nice that it has like a little top like that. I don't know if the other ones are like that 
I haven't really tried other ones, but that will be soon. Um, so this is also not a surprise that this is in this favorites video, but this is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I put this on every single day. I, I love it. It's not too dark. It's not too orange. It is a cool toned um, bronzer. So it's not like super orange and it's like cool toned. So that's kind of what I like because I don't contour on a normal basis or anything like that. So this of course is going to be my favorite. All right, so the next couple of things are palettes, but I don't necessarily call it like the whole palette is my favorite. I just have a couple of shades in each one that I really like. So I just wanted to share those with you guys. So in this palette right here, so this is Tarte's um, Goddess Glam palette. And the only thing that I really, really like in this palette that I want to put in my favorites is their highlight shade, which is right here, and it's called Enthrail. Um, yeah, so that is definitely one of my favorites highlighters. It's like rosy, and it's not too, like, blinding, because, like, I'm not someone that puts, like, a lot of highlight on. So that is, like, a nice like step down from like a blinding highlight because it's it's rose color, it's not so white and it's not so yellow. So that is why that's in my January favorites. So this is the Eco Tools Defining Crease Brush. It is honestly my favorite brush right now for doing the eyes. I think it's nice and light and fluffy. So the um, creases on my eyes are not so defined, but it's, it's soft, it's, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, it's just like, my favorite crease brush right now. <laughs> so this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz um, eyebrow brush, eyebrow pencil. <laughs> so this is in the color taupe and I found that the color taupe is kind of more of my color and that is what is on my eyes right now. Um, I was using the chocolate um, Brow Wiz but now that I found the taupe, this is now my January favorite. So like I said before, I have three palettes, like eyeshadow palettes that I want to be in my January favorites, but there is like, I wouldn't say every single one of these is a favorite. There is just shades in here that I'm going to share with you that are my favorites, if that makes sense. So the first palette that I really like is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. That's not a surprise at all. So, this is kind of what the palette looks like. Um, if you're new to the beauty world, if you're not, then I'm sure you've seen this before. So this is the Modern Renaissance palette. This is what it looks like um, if you haven't seen it before, but I'm sure if you're watching beauty videos then you've definitely seen this palette before. Um, I just wanted to share kind of like what my favorite shades are in here. Um, I Overall, I do like this entire palette, but um, my, ultimate favorites is this cypress umber right here i love to pop that into the outer corner of my eye like that's my honestly go to if i want to like darken up my corner um another one that i really liked is raw sienna so this is a good like transition shade if it focuses yep so this is a good transition shade it's orange it's tan it's like the the perfect transition shade for me so next palette that i got in January and I am kind of obsessed with it um, is the Urban Decay Smoky palette um, from their Naked collection. So let's just pop out the brush because who cares. Um, so this is what it looks like. It is very pretty. Um, this is kind of what I go to I don't want to say like every day, but I do reach for this one shade. This is the shade Combust right here. And I love this color. So this color as a transition shade is probably the prettiest thing I've ever seen. So just swatching it, it looks very light, but when you put it on your eye, it is not, it's not that like super light, but it's a very nice transition shade. So just coming out of that palette, that is the only shade that I'm obsessed with. So let's close that one. Next. So my last and final January favorite for eyeshadow. Um, I'm trying to think if there is any other ones, but this is probably it. 
So this is the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And I actually just got this one like last week. Um, so this is what it looks like close up. And honestly, my favorite shadow out of here, you can probably tell, is the YDK. Like, let's, let me just show you what the YDK looks like. So this is the Urban Decay YDK um, eyeshadow out of the Naked 2 palette. Um, it is on my lid right now, if you can tell. Um, I am obsessed with that color. Um, I do like to put it on my lid a lot. It's honestly my favorite eyeshadow out of this palette. Um, another one that I really like is Tease, which is like this um, transition shade right here. Like I can even show you, like that's what it looks like. And it's pretty, it's tan. Um, it's not too orange-ish, which um, some people like more of a tan um, brown color than, you know, like an orange one in their transition shade. I could go for either, but I probably do prefer more of a brown um, transition shade. So that is it for the eyeshadow palettes. Um, I know it's very typical to be picking two naked palettes and a, the Modern Renaissance palette because I feel like the Modern Renaissance palette is like everyone's fan favorite. So my last and final favorite of this month is the Maybelline truffle tease 930 lipstick so that is exactly what is on my lips today um it is honestly my favorite it's so creamy it stays on um it's easy to apply and i don't know i just just love it this is like my one of my favorite colors right now it's so nude that i can wear it every single day but at the same time i could wear it out if i wanted so if i do go out i still incorporate this into my lip um, so I'll put like a darker color on the outside. It could be like a darker brown. It could be a darker, not like red, but it's like a reddish brown. And then I will pop this in the center of my lips. So it kind of looks like an ombre and it kind of gives it a little bit more of a light. So it's not too dark and it's not too light. So, um, so that is definitely my favorite lipstick right now. So I just want to share with you guys kind of like what my January favorites are. Um, I just want to kind of get an update like every month of what I'm using, what I didn't like. Um, obviously these are just like my favorites. This isn't like my not favorites or like dislikes of makeup. So I just want to share that. Um, so if you like today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.